today we're going to take a look at some quick tips and tricks for drawings in SolidWorks. So what we're going to take a look at is just how to create a geometric tolerance, very simple, and then we're going to go over how to drag and drop items from one to, uh, annotation to another. So we'll actually drag and drop that tolerance around, um, as well as create a couple other things like a surface finish, a surface finish symbol and uh, drag that around, and uh, dragging annotations themselves. So let's take a look at how this functions. So what I'll do here is I'll start by creating a geometric tolerance. So right now we've got this uh, diameter of 60, and what we want to do is we want to write a geometric tolerance to give that a circular runout. So I'll just click the geometric tolerance button for my annotations toolbar, and then fill out the frame as necessary. So we'll go ahead and just do a circular runout. We'll give it our tolerance and then type in what datums we would like it to respect. So our primary will be A and our secondary will be B. And there I've got that circular runout. Now one thing that we want to do is we want to drag and drop that and snap it to this diameter here. So I can do that just by dragging and dropping and locating the two together. What that will do is it will snap those two items as one. This is an option you can toggle on or off. Some people like them to snap when you drag and some people do not. So inside the options, under your uh, drawings area, you'll see there's a disable note merging when dragging checkbox. If this is turned off, this checkbox is turned off, you'll see that the, uh, the items can actually be dragged and dropped. One thing that's really nice about this is you can then drag this away just by grabbing the rectangular point and it will no longer be merged with that diameter. And then you can actually drag and drop that to another note to merge them together. Really simple to do. So you can just pull this away by dragging the point, and you're good to go. Now, just to reiterate, it's a drag and drop from one item to the other, like so. And if you want to pull it away, it's a drag and drop from top edge. Now you can also control C, control V to create a copy and then just place multiple symbols onto each item as necessary. So one thing that's also cool is that you can drag and drop um, pretty much anything. So if I create a surface finish symbol for instance, you'll see that that can drag and drop to any edge and then it will actually respect that edge or if I drag and drop it to a leader, it will snap to that as well. Very simple to do, um, very simple to, uh, to just snap items from one to another. The same holds true of annotations. So if I have an annotation here, uh, you can actually drag and drop that from one location to another. So if I wanted to move this from this whole callout to this whole callout, you'll see there's a little rectangular uh, point at the end point and I can just drag and drop that to the other instance of that hole and all of that information is maintained. So that's been my quick uh, set of drawing tips for today on geometric tolerancing and dragging and dropping. Thank you for watching.